Hey kids, how are you? It's Uncle Derek here again. So I did something crazy today. Changed my hair up a little bit. What do you guys think? Is it a yes or a no? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, so today's book is called The Biscuit Baker by Sue Lawson and Liz and Nelly. Let's get started. Benedict Stanley and Audrey May live at number 23 Maven Road. Each morning, they greet their neighbors. Good morning. Hello. Lovely day. But ears are too full and mouths stay closed. Perhaps tomorrow, Benedict Stanley sighs. Benedict and Audrey May potter and plant until their legs are weary and shoulders tired. From the sofa, sofa, they watch their coming. They watch the comings and goings on Maven Road. I like your cat," says a boy one morning. Benedict smiles. Her name is Audrey May. I'm Rory. The Tooth Fairy is visiting me tonight. Did you know? In his kitchen, Benedict Stanley reaches for his wife's recipe book. He shifts and folds, shapes and bakes into the evening. Before the joggers puff and the walkers strut, Benedict and Audrey May make a special delivery. Each morning after that, Benedict and Audrey May deliver biscuits along Maven Road. Shortbread when the triplets arrive home, chalk chip when welcoming new neighbors, and ghost and ghouls for Halloween. Who's making these biscuits? Someone kind. Benedict and Andre May made cat cookies with current eyes after a kitten rescue and football cookies after a grand final. Taste good from somewhere good. One evening, an aching and snuffling Benedict Stanley shuffled to the bed. The dance concert biscuits stayed on the cooling rack. There are no bike biscuits after the ride without training wheels, and no ambulance shortbreads with the cherry lice after the tumbling from the roof. Benedict Stanley wheezes and sneezes. Audrey May prowls and yowls. Where's the biscuit maker? Perhaps she was just visiting. Where's the biscuit maker? Maybe she's on holiday. Rose petal fall and cabbages will outside Rory's house. A cat prowls and yowls. It's Audrey May. Later that afternoon, Benedict Stanley shuffles down the hall to answer a knock at the door. Audrey May came visiting. The whole town has come to his house to help him. In the sunshine, Benedict Stanley and Audrey May watch while their neighbors potter and prune, laugh and chat. By New Year's Eve, Benedict Stanley feels much better.
Audrey May watches as Rory and his friends shift in shape. Benedict Stanley sprinkles and swirls and smiles. They're all making cookies and biscuits together. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed. And at the end of this book, there's biscuits and Stanley and Audrey May's basic biscuit dough. So it gives instructions on how to make these biscuits. So if you talk to mom and dad and they want to make you biscuits, let me know and I can send you the recipe. All right, guys. Have a good night. Mwah. Love you. Always remember, love is the key.